What is up, everybody? Big Mac Gaming here. I'm here today to give you my honest opinion on the Halo Infinite multiplayer beta that was released two days ago. So as many of you know, on the 20th anniversary of Halo CE and Xbox, they released the multiplayer beta basically for us to check out early. And I appreciate that for 3 for 3 and all that, but there are some issues I think that need to be addressed when it comes to this game. Issue one, you can see right here, I'm using theater mode to show you a game I did in ranked playlist earlier today. And as you can see though, the radar's popping up. And if you look at the announcer, they're saying stuff that's not happening. And you'll see my bullets are actually not actually hitting sometimes. So if you played ranked, you know that ranked is no radar. Theater is just a little bit buggy. It needs to be a little attention done to it. It's not as good as it could be. Two, aim assist is almost non-existent for controller input players like myself i always thought halo 3 4 and 5 had a decent aim assist it wasn't overwhelming but it was enough to get the job done there's moments in this game you'll see in the gameplay too that you just can't get no lock on and your controller feels wild and your reticle can't be controlled it's a little frustrating for me considering i'm not the best halo player but i'm not the worst i'm, I'm pretty average i think you know you saw see my gameplays y'all seen how i play uh, another issue I have is the radar when you're playing social is too small. If you look at the radar here that they're displaying on the theater mode, that's actually good radar. That's showing the enemies really far away. I don't know why they can't put that on social. That's just a small complaint. I don't really play too much of the social. I play mainly ranked. I actually got platinum too on ranked so far. Pretty content with that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the gameplay. I think the assault rifle needs to be toned down a little bit. It is very powerful. It will eat your shields up quickly and will put you down faster than the BR can in, in most cases. It's a very strong weapon. It needs to tone down just a little bit. Those are my main complaints. Those so like theater's a little buggy. That doesn't show the accurate representation of the game that was played. But other than the bugs itself, it's actually a, a pleasant experience. You can, it'll have like where your deaths are and your kills are in a little time sheet if you want to have it up, you know, to help you edit your video better. And also it has it has a lot of good aspects. But it's a little buggy. It's fixed. The mini map needs fixed on social and the AR needs to be toned down just a little bit. And aim assist needs to be just bumped up just a little, not much. Not not a whole lot, just a little bit. That's the only complaints I have about the game. Now, here's the things I have to say that's good about the game to what I like about it. I think the graphics are top tier. I think that the game looks well. Everything feels impactful. All the, all the weapons feel pretty good for the sun motion. Everything's pretty balanced, I think, besides the AR. They improved the heat wave. Uh, I really enjoyed that they improved it because I like the design of the game. It's more of a brute shot weapon now, I think. If, if you played Halo 3, it's what it was like. I'm a big fan of the Battle Pass. I think the Battle Pass was... A great idea for them to make money. The only pr problem with it is that they need to make it that we get, you can have potentially more XP than just doing the challenges. Other than that, though, I think the progression system as well. Um, I bought the Battle Pass Premium when I bought it, so I got an extra 25 levels, I think, for free. If you don't know how to use it, all you do is literally go to your XP boost and put use XP boost, and boom, there's your 25 ranks. I'm already up to a 42 on the Battle Pass. I had like a thousand credits left over. So that got me a couple of ranks and then I've ranked up a bunch. I've played this basically pretty much nonstop since this came out. The Camaria Plat 2 on ranked. Um, it's a good time though. Social's fun as well. I play a little bit of Big Team. Big Team is not as fun as I had in MCC. I think that's because the vehicles need a little bit of fine tuning, but not too much. They're fun to play with. It's, it's, this game still needs a little bit of fine tuning. All The gameplay you're seeing is obviously just a little quick rank gameplay of us. Uh, playing some oddball i think i'm going to go in 22 and 11 um, i don't do too good but it's, it's good enough to show on the channel for me to explain what my feelings are towards the game my consensus is it's going to be a good multiplayer if they fix the few issues i stated at the beginning of the video and if they do do that we'll be in for a good couple years and plus we also still have mcc we can always go back and play as well along with infinite that is out of halo 4 halo 5 and now halo infinite I think is the best incarnation of three for three industries halo they did this is their best work yet okay with that being said that's all i have about the multiplayer it's, it's a good experience if you haven't downloaded it go download it they gave it to us for free to try out for almost a whole month until december 8th when the campaign drops with the game and that's i think that's when we'll get the actual multiplayer with all the updates and everything that we can compl have complaints about will be addressed and this game will be perfect December 8th, I think. With that being said, the campaign looked fantastic. I am so excited to play the campaign. 
Kelly campaigns have been hit and miss for me. Uh, like I've stated before, that controversial video I, I posted was Halo 4 is just my favorite campaign. I think that Infinite has the potential to overthrow Halo 4 as being my favorite because it's got open world. It's got so many aspects that's it's different from the Halo lore that we have seen before. They they really I really feel like they've knocked it out of the park. And a good chance for new people to get introduced to the world as well as returning players like myself that for a while I had a hiatus. I just recently started coming back to Halo about almost a year ago. I started uh, uploading videos seven months ago now. I just basically want to say uh, to the people that have subscribed to my videos here recently, I hit over 150 subs. I have been trying to push this content out and trying to make it better. If you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments, man. I'm still learning and trying to figure out what would be the best way to continue with this channel. I started the new uh, Halo Remix gameplays. I did two with no music or no editing besides just the kills. I did one with meme sound effects, and then I did one with just the music, basically. I'm trying this new things just, just to get a whole different type of catalog of things going on. And this this video calls back to an older video of mine. Will Halo Infinite suck? Halo Infinite is not going to fail. I don't, I don't see it. In my opinion, it's already outperforming Vanguard. Definitely outperforming Battlefield. This game has the potential to be probably game of the year. But that's about all my thoughts I have. If you haven't already, will you please give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Big Mac Gaming channel. The reason I asked for you to do this is because the more likes I get, is the more views I can generate naturally. That's what YouTube's algorithm has really been like right now is likes. So like it up, share it. I will be doing a special for my 150 subscribers later this week. My goal beginning of this year when I started was just to hit 100, and I've already hit 150, close to 160 now. P probably be over 160 when I post this video, but this is amazing for me considering that all I do is post my Halo content, and half of it's with my buddies, and this half of it's just me doing decent. I'm not even, I'm not no fat rat. I'm not Godspeed. I'm definitely not Mint Blitz. I try to do well. I uh, hope y'all enjoy. Uh, this is Big Mac signing out. in your head and not that head what's left of it we have the ball ball drop double kill enemy has the ball gained the lead lost the lead yeah, better them than us Round one. A win is in reach, Spartan. We have the ball. Way to victory. Straight forward. Glad I'm in your head and not that head. What's left of it? Enemy team nearing victory. Ball dropped. A spell carrier down. We have the ball. Ball out of bounds. Ball out of bounds. Ball incoming. Active camo inbound. We have the ball. Active camo available. 
killing spree. Victory! <laughs>